Hey, good afternoon, Faith Community Church family and friends and those that are just checking us out for the first time. Welcome to our FCC Fillmore YouTube channel. Here we are, we're kind of doing uh, different things during the week now. Uh, Thankful Thursday, Lonnie Larson, our new church secretary, has been doing those. It's been awesome. And then I wanted to do a, a Mission Monday um, today for you. And, and I wanted to do it on prayer because... Um, there's such power in prayer. Over in uh, James chapter five, I love this passage uh, where James is talking about the power of prayer. And he says, um, over in verse 13, we'll start there, the prayer of faith. It says, is any one of you in trouble? He should pray. Is anyone happy? Let him sing songs of praise. Because again, that's also prayer as well, where you're singing to God, you're talking to God. And that's what prayer is is us talking to God. Getting into his word is him talking to us. Getting to church, God talks to us through the pastor that's preaching, teaching, the, you know, the, the people around. But, but talking to God through prayer is so important. And that's in singing as well. We're, we're lifting our voices to the Lord. And is any one of you sick? He should call the elders of the church to pray over him and anoint him or her with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. You know, I have gone to pray with people at their bedside and in their homes on hospice, prayed for people that were on their deathbed. And they, the doctors thought there's no way they're going to be able to recover and told the family to you know, begin pre making preparations for after they passed away in the next day or so. And then to see God heal, God, you know, praying with faith, our church praying for faith, our prayer chain that we have here that Lonnie and Jeannie and, and Melinda help guide that prayer chain where people say, can you pray? You know, they'll send a call in or a text in to one of them. And can you put, or to me, you know, can you put uh, so-and-so on the prayer chain? Or it's a really serious situation. And we have prayer warriors that are praying on that prayer chain. And and at church, we've lifted things up and, and I've mentioned to people, hey, could you be praying? I'm gonna go visit someone at the hospital and it's a really serious, serious situation that God can still heal. God is the God of miracles, we believe that. And so praying with faith, knowing God, you can heal and I do that and I even just recently did that, uh, as we mentioned at church, Marge Abbey, who um, seemed like you know her family called me uh, late at night just saying, we're not sure if she's gonna, make it through can you come and pray pastor and uh, so i right away went over it and, and and prayed and prayed with the family and we put some worship music on as well some hymns and you know that really kind of helped inspire us and and we were singing some of them and we were praying praying knowing god you can heal and my prayer was basically that god we know you have the power to heal her lord we know that there are miracle after miracle doctors you know saying i, I don't know how this happen it's 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 unexplainable and really it is explainable to believers because it's God we believe God can answer prayer and so it says here it makes it seem like it's a for sure thing though that you know if you ask then then the person will be healed and and we know that God does heal automatically whether it's and that's part of my prayers is I'll pray because I know God you can heal this person this person that is on their deathbed that doesn't seem like they're going to last the night which Marge Abbey, her breathing was very short and just uh, she seemed like it may not be through the whole night that she survives. And, but at the same time, we know, God, you can heal. And we also know, God, that if, if she does enter into that, that time with you, Lord, as Ruthie Gunderson used to call it, graduating into heaven, she graduates up into heaven tonight, that you will heal her there, guaranteed. So there is guaranteed healing. But whether it's right now when we pray for someone and, and, and God does that, I've seen. In fact, Marge Abbey, her family said that, you know, I went to see her again. And, and, and the next time I saw her a, a day or two later, she was looking so much better. And, and, and actually the doctors, you know, had, had said it, it's, it's amazing. I mean, she's actually so much better. She's able to walk around now and, and her eyes were bright and she was talkative more than in a long, long time. So we know it's never too late with God. But we also pray that, Lord, you know what, if, if it's not the way that we would like it to be answered, we know that you are still in control and that you still have the victory. There's a wonderful worship song, Sea of Victory, that is just talking about that, 
that God has the victory no matter what. And so over here, it goes on, it says, and the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well, the Lord will raise him up. And, and definitely, God is able to do that. We know that's true. If he has sinned or she has sinned, they'll be forgiven. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous man is, is powerful and effective, and you know it's righteous women too. And righteous doesn't mean perfect. I always like to say that because people, well, I'm not righteous. Yeah, you're righteous if you're a follower of Christ. Not perfect, but you have the righteousness of Christ imputed into you if you have true faith in Christ. Jesus gives us the righteousness that he gave for us on the cross. That's how he was able to obtain that righteousness for us. He is righteous, but because he took our sins on the cross, he paid the punishment, the penalty that we deserve because of our sin. Romans uh, 6, 23 is so powerful. For the wages, what we earn because of sin, the bad things we do is death, eternal separation from God. But it goes on. That's the bad news, but it goes on to the good news. But the gift, gift means we don't earn it. It's God's gift to us. But the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus, our Lord. So we are healed one way or another, but most importantly is spiritual healing. And so even if somebody, let's say we pray for them and they're healed physically, if they're not spiritually healed and following Christ, then that's just a temporary fix. So following Christ is what heals us spiritually for eternity. And so I just wanna pray now for, for you. And if you have any prayer requests, contact the church office here, 805-524-5564. We love to pray with you. Our new church secretary, Lonnie Larson, wonderful to talk to and, and willing to pray for you. And, and I am as well, and Jeannie. And we just have some prayer warriors that want to lift you up in prayer. So let us know um, if you'd like some prayer. But let's pray now. Heavenly Father, Lord God, I thank you that we can come before you, Lord, the God of everything, Lord, the, the ultimate, the almighty, all-knowing, omnipresent God, creator, Lord, you are in control. You are sovereign. And we can come to you and pray to you, God, because, Lord, we're righteous, not perfect, but we're right with God through Christ. We're righteous and we're able to see you answer prayers according to your will and your timing, which is what we want. I know we want our timing, but Lord, you have a perfect timing that we trust. And so we lift up the different prayer requests that people have, Lord God. Lord, for spiritual healing, for physical healing, for financial healing, for relational healing, for emotional healing, God. So many areas in our lives, Lord, that we need prayer for. So we pray, Father, that we would see a victory because we know you are victorious no matter what, God. And so, Lord, we surrender up people struggling with the fires right now, Lord God. We pray, Lord, for extra protection and extra provision, especially for firefighters right now, God. Please be with them, Lord. Help them to sense your presence, God, and pray for all the families affected by the fires, God. Lord God, we also pray for, um, for those affected by coronavirus, Lord God, whether it's physically they're affected or whether it's just emotionally and financially, God. There's this, this, this virus, Lord, is, is something that is, uh, you know, COVID-19 is affecting all kinds of ways all kinds of people. So we pray, Lord, for healing as well. And, and Lord, you'd help us to get through this, Lord God. Thank you for being with our church, Lord God. Thank you for being with our community, Lord. Thank you for just your faithfulness, Lord, for our Sunshine Preschool, Lord. Thank you for the little kids that are here and the teachers and the aides, Lord God. Thank you for all the different ministries, Lord God, that, that you know, is in our church bulletin, all the different ones, Lord, the youth ministries, God, the, the Spanish ministry, Lord, La Promesa de Jesus Iglesia. Thank you for it, Lord, as well, and all you're doing there. Thank you, Lord God, for Celebrate Recovery that meets on Saturday mornings. Thank you, Lord God, for Grief Share that's gonna be starting up as well, coming together on Saturday mornings under a tree, just being able to share the grief that, that life brings and, and celebrate recovery, being able to help accountability occur and share with each other to be able to have breakthroughs happen, Lord God, even in, in things that, that, that people can struggle with, Lord, in life. 
Lord, we thank you for Sunday. What a blessing it was yesterday, Lord, the t- testimonies of, of Tommy and Angel, of breakthroughs that you've done, Lord God, as they've been, been trusting you and we've been praying and, 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 and you just had the victory, God. And we thank you and pray continued victory in all the guys, Lord God, in our church, Lord, all the men, Lord God, that you'd help breakthroughs to occur, God, surrendering to happen. And thank you again for all that you're doing with the men and the women and the children, Lord, in our church. We pray, Father, for those that are outside of our church, maybe watching this, that don't go to a church, Lord, that you would help them to come, Lord, if they they aren't going to a Bible-teaching church, Lord, a a Jesus-lifting church, God, a Jesus-worshiping church, God, that you would help them to come, Lord, and and be a part of our faith community, church, God, that loves you, loves people, Lord. We just thank you for all this, Lord, to surrender unspoken and spoken requests to you as well, Lord. We thank you for the power of prayer, God, because the power is not in us, but it's in you, God, who is answering those prayers, who hears our prayers. As the book of Revelation says, our prayers are like sweet-smelling incense to you, Lord. You love to hear our prayers, Lord. So thank you for the power of prayer. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you.